Hi, this is Dr. Kang's scuba diving stories. And uh, last night I received an uh, SNS question, and it was very interesting. So I decided I will uh, summarize it and uh, share with my fellow divers. Uh, this is the this was the question. Sorry, it's in Korean. It says, uh, when we do the rescue breath at the surface of ocean, instead of mouth-to-mouth -mouth rescue breath, why do we not use regulator second stage perch? Sounds pretty interesting, doesn't it? Uh, in fact, uh, some training agencies have and tried to teach um, this method. And now, as far as I know, not anymore because the reason that I will explain today. So to talk about the rescue breath using perch, I want, I'd like to talk about rescue breath first, so in CPR and on the surface and how we deliver air at the surface and um, rest, rest using perch. Uh, in CPR, this is a 2018 classification of rescuers from American Heart Association. Uh, one is non-educated, no education at all. No CPR, no rescue breath. Second group, rescue, uh, rescue educated only on chest compression. Third, rescue uh, CPR educated on both chest compression and uh, rescue breath. The reason uh, they uh, divided the rescue group is to give some uh, standard whether they should or they should not, or whether they may or may not give rescue breath to a, a victim. So uh, in CPR, uh, rescue breath is like uh, you compress chest 30 times and you give rescue breath two times. Uh, nowadays, there are very many uh, instructors teaching a CPR who doesn't really understand what they mean by do not or you do not have to do the rescue breath. It is not true. Um, my personal experience with rescue breath, I have, believe it or not, saved three lives in scuba diving scenario simply by giving two rescue breath. No need to do any chest compression. If I didn't give them, they would not have been uh, survived. Rescue breath works. So try to teach and try to learn how to do it. Uh, in general population, now the training uh, agencies say may or may not do it whether you are educated or not but EMS or medics you have to do it and instead of giving big full breath you can just give normal breath what about the rescue breath at the surface it's for unconscious non-breathing a uh, victim. At the surface of water, you cannot compress the victim's heart. Victim's heart to be compressed need some uh, hard reached uh, floor. But in water, it's not working. So we give only rescue breath and then tow him or her to the beach or to the boat. Uh, depending on the training agency, there used to be like a, a one breath every five seconds or two breaths every ten seconds. 
and even if you are doing one breath every five seconds if somehow you are delayed those are uh, five seconds you give two breaths and start all over again this is still true if you are teaching and learning how to do the rescue breath at the surface but quite a few training agencies gave up on teaching rescue breath I think it's uh, from the misunderstanding of a new standard rescue breath like I said at the beginning works can save life so please teach please learn how to do the rescue breath and please do it it's a very important skill okay rescue breath at the surface how we deliver air it's mouth to mouth which is in most cases a uh, mouth to mask who carries a resuscitation mask on the water I have never seen one but some training agencies teach this and they even evaluate on instructor candidates if they can do this I personally don't like to do that uh, also mouse to snorkel well divers carry snorkels but more and more divers don't and also snorkel mouth resuscitation is not very easy also there is a fairly big dead airspace so this also is not really a way uh, and then a uh, mouse to mouthpiece porch I I uh, I of course teach how to use this but it's for oxygen delivery um, at the surface well I don't know and this is the mouse to mouse so uh, this is how we should do it let's see what mouse to purge is what's good about it I think the only advantages I can think of is you can avoid unwanted contact especially oral mucosa if the victim showed some noodles in their mouth some foods in their mouth kind of regurgitating out you really don't want to do it then you can probably use pudge uh, another advantage is when you are high, doing some technical diving you use 50 80 or 100 percent oxygen for decompression so if you can use those cylinders with high percentage of oxygen if you can give them the oxygen to the victim probably it had some advantage but that's probably the only thing I can think of but mouse to perch has a lot of disadvantages first you find the victim and the mouthpiece is not in his mouth which means you have to put the mouthpiece back into his mouth and it's never an easy task uh, unconscious diver if they clench their teeth you can never open it even if it is not so you have to somehow push it in which in number three can push the tongue base to the backward which means you can further block the airway um, you have to seal the mouth and nose too to do the uh, mouth to push but you have only two hands and there's a lot of thing you have to do so it's never easy sealing the nose and the mouth the disadvantages go on if the mouthpiece is in the mouth then you don't have to put the mouthpiece back in but now purging you cannot control the amount of air or the pressure of air that you want to give 
Porsche doesn't have control knob, except in some uh, regulators, you can turn the knob and uh, somehow uh, increase or decrease the amount of air being supplied. But that's not for uh, this purpose. Uh, if you perch too strong, that means air can go into the esophagus, especially when the airway is blocked. Air goes into the esophagus, the food inside the stomach will regurgitate. If the victim vomits, that's good. That's a sign of, you know, he's coming back. But usually it's a regurgitation. Then there's some uh, hard stuff in the food which can block the airway or some uh, liquid in the regurgitation will go into the lung and give some uh, aspiration problem. Even if he survives, he could die of, from aspiration pneumonia. So it's, uh, it's quite meaningless. Also if you press too hard, and the air goes into the lung, you can rupture the alveoli. Um, so uh, it's about the pressing the purge. Uh, also, if you use the, the purge, the air may go in, but when it comes back out, the exhaust of a valve in the in the regulator second stage it's not good enough for exhaustion you cannot really let the air go out freely so you cannot really put the mouthpiece in take it out let him uh, exhale and then put it back in it's not practical so also uh, if you uh, do not do the mouth to mouth uh, you don't have the the direct contact and you cannot really feel the victim and it's hard to control everything in the breath. So uh, conclusion all the diving skills that we learn that we teach and that we do execute during the diving. These are from many, many experiences and even some uh, even some uh, life has been sacrificed to set that skill up. For example, In tech diving, we do deco tank uh, exchange. Years ago, we used to carry, maybe some agencies still do, but we carry, let's say, two uh, decompression gas, 100% on the right side, always uh, right side, uh, a higher percentage, left side, like 50%. If somehow, you don't put them on the right way and you don't really check before you breathe you can breathe 100% oxygen at the depth of 21 meter which means you can get oxygen uh, CNS toxicity people really died from that mistake so now the procedure changed quite a bit uh, we always carry both the compression gas on the left side and I before put in my mouth I check it and then I have my team member or buddy to check it too and buddy has to say okay before I put it in my mouth but this is uh, one of the examples many skills or almost all skills they have meaning so whatever skill you learn or you teach just believe that this skill comes from so many trials and errors and you better stick to the skill.
until everybody agrees and everybody put in the book and let you teach it. And second stage is not for rescue breath. So don't ever think about it. So rescue breath, I talked about in CPR, uh, at surface, uh, how to deliver uh, air at the surface, and then finally the rescue breath using second stage purge. Hope uh, this was a valuable information for you and for all of us. Thank you very much and uh, I'll see you again. Thank you.